Justified by Faith. Welcome, good day and hello to Silent Time, the opportunity to think on what is important in life. Out of all the living people, God selects some to be his specially treasured possession. Deuteronomy 14 verse 2, you are a people holy to the Lord your God. It is you the Lord has chosen out of all the peoples on earth to be his people, his treasured possession. And who are those people? Are they specially doing, working harder than others or being somehow more holy, praying more or what is the characteristics of the people? Are they the bishops and the church leaders or are they born by nature to be that way? The answer is in Romans 3 verse 30. God is one. He will justify the circumcised on the ground of faith and the uncircumcised through the same faith. It is the one faith in the Lord, whether we put our faith in him or not. If we just say, I don't want to know God, or I don't want to know his commandments, I don't care what did he did do to me, that is like most people act. But those who put their trust in him, who put their faith and their hope in the Lord, who don't have another hope, who put their full trust and effort and faith in the Lord, that the Lord saves them from all wrongdoing, and that he also guides them out from all difficult situations. For example, from persecution, from other problems, from health issues, from all that they suffer from. And they put their full faith in the Lord. Then they are his treasured possession. Even if we don't feel it, even if we feel like the problems are still there, the persecution is still there, the troubles, and is even getting worse. Yet. We are then his people and we belong to him and God cares for us. Lord, we thank you for your love and for your care. We thank you that we don't need to ha have achievements in the sense of medals and certificates or whatever. We don't need to have achievements in the form of becoming, having a good career or earning a lot or whatever it might be. We also don't need to have achievements in doing good to others. You make it very easy for us. We only need to put our faith in you. Thank you for this gift. Thank you that we can come to you. We ask for forgiveness where we do not put our faith in you, where we have other priorities in this world rather than giving the first priority to you. Thank you for your love, for your grace and for your care. And please guide us throughout this life into your eternal kingdom, where we praise your holy name forever. Amen.